All right, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube. Um, I want to make this video as a like a climate compromise. That that's the kind of term I came up with it. Um, uh, and hear hear me out. Just um, um, y'all say it's CO two, and and I say it's it's um, induction and and bunch of other stuff. You know the electrical thing is. Um, I don't want to say like predictions or whatever like that because I don't want to say nothing bad but like the volcanic activity that we're going to see even in Iceland I don't think this is going to go away good um, but might I, I pray it does now don't get me wrong I mean I really pray it does um, but I, I don't see it I, I see this as a lot of ash um, if this thing opens up into the ocean and, and that's just a lot of ash over Europe and this is how um, the the climate change kicks off it did get so extreme the volcanic activity rises and it's been steadily rising for a few hundred years and co2 does not make volcanic activity rise in any any charlatan snake oil salesman that tries to tell you that you need to run because um, it doesn't is the <laughs> um, pressure on the earth's mantle stuff like that that will rising water temp water um, levels, but the CO2 didn't cause that to begin with y'all is it the CO2 has been ten times higher than it is now um, Without even the earth being twice as high that we were hotter now than we ever were even when CO2 was ten times higher This is electrification accepted if you want um, Let's get back to the the climate compromise here um, It is that this is not my original idea okay I just want to get that right out there I hate I hate when there's pricks on the internet that steal stuff and they claim it is theirs and it's like wow we just talked about that last month you know um, it's like that's that's really bad so this is not my idea but did I catch the guy's name no but he died and and that's what made me think about it you know because I hate unfinished work is what it comes down to and he wanted to build an offshore city like right over here this is africa i know it don't look like it but it is that's madagascar this is about a thousand miles off this is a submerged like a uh what do you want to call that a grassy a grassy thing it's not coral is the in getting coral to establish out there would be that's the that was the, the challenge that he was trying to do and he was wanting to do an ocean x city you know an ocean off the um thing it's climate compromise uh here's what i'm saying if there was a solar farm deployed out into the ocean anchored to that plateau um with with like um what do you call those the, the ones where the bow fall goes down landing ships with landing ships and not to land because there's nothing to land on out there it's all underwater is um but where you can work off the bow of the ship and stuff like that is um and where you can flood the bay is what i'm trying to get at without risking the ship but use deflectors like they do for um uh like uh in the caribbean you know to to search for stuff you know where they're blowing the sand but use a deflector off the props of the ship um into a manifold and then use hemp cloth and then just add a um, a stainless steel wire a thread into the cloth weave it into the cloth so it's conductive and um, in do the same thing with a heavier fishing net but the fishing net you you attach to the fabric is what I'm trying to get at and this will just dispense as the pressure because um, how to say it in the beginning you need the pressure to, to inflate the the fabric to hold the netting outward and then so the um, and, and treat it with magnesium oxides or any oxide for that matter in the in the chloride will do pretty much the rest the salts will do the rest and it's going to make it stone it'll turn it to stone and then the coral will attach to it they'll have no problem attaching to it where they won't attach to wire or anything metal they will attach to this is um i'm, I'm quite convinced they'll attach to it is what i'm trying to say and i'm convinced it'll turn it to stone relatively quick and you just do it in segments and I know all these are equal but like as the um, as it would turn to stone you could keep descending the segment because it's not going to need the pressure to hold it open you'll only need it in the beginning um, and down here it'll already be in its shape and then the coral can attach 
you can make your little offshore city um, all structural and everything wherever you want this thing to be structural even between the support columns just add the netting um, charge it so you get the uh, the ionization so you so you're attracting the the salt into the into the oxides you know and um and that's just how you do it and then this will work it covers with coral bada bing you got a little city off in the thing and this will work anywhere around the equator where there's these plateaus that are high enough um to attach to i mean i, I you couldn't do this you know several hundred feet but if it's reasonable easy enough idea and I'm sorry I forgot this guy's name is all the credit to him because without him I wouldn't really have thought this one through or even presented it to you um, and for all the billionaires out there I hope you jump on it and, and just go and do it you know I mean whatever and yes I'm being a little sarcastic y'all got to give it up with this greed shit y'all I mean the whole greed the whole religion loony crap um, we need a break it is a civilization as a species we can't support either one anymore. So, um, is is bad crap going to happen? Yeah. Do I do I believe in the prophecies and the writings? I've read them all around the world, y'all. So I know bad stuff is going to happen. But do I see it in in like a religious thing? Nope, I don't. Do I see it in like a in like um, in the whole CO two thing? I, I think is a religious movement, y'all. Y'all are believing something that yes co2 is going up volcanic activity is going up the ocean water is going up this has been going on for a long time um and now it's going up sharper because it's the tipping point and it does it every time uh, whether it's twenty-seven thousand years or one hundred and twenty-five thousand years this happens before it's going to happen again humanity is the bacteria on the third marble of a kid's game thinking we're steering this thing we're not i'm sorry we're just not the best i can do is a climate compromise in in because can i survive in a cave somewhere no i'm paraplegic i can't I'd, I'd rather not face what's coming i i know it's coming and it's coming like a freight train and i'm not blind to it and i don't want to be blind and i don't want to lie to people um the reality is that yes it's going to get stupid hot we're going to lose a lot of the bees people are going to starve i mean a third of the population kind of starve um if if russia doesn't do something stupid in the next couple of days or weeks in nuking ukraine and making the 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 literal basket of food for the the entire world a third of it they'll go hungry and this is going to happen really soon and i see that uh, whether it's this time or next time these little lunatics are never stopped and they're never satisfied the greed doesn't ever end, and the loony, the loony religious shit doesn't ever stop. It's just how I see it. And I'm, yeah, I'm sarcastic, and I'm tired, and I can't play the game no more. Um, at least not the way it's been played. The rules suck. So, But um, here's this, and, and best of luck with it, y'all. That's all I got to say. Best of luck with it. Okay, talk to you then. Bye.